In this code.org lesson, we're going to continue to explore loops or repeat blocks that allow us to reuse pieces of our code without having to write it all out again and again. Very useful, fundamental, foundational concept in computer science. Let's get going. This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. The artist is in the wrong spot. Oh no. Oh, we can use a jump block, then draw a 50 pixel line. Okay. So let's take a look here. I have one block of code and I'm in the wrong spot. I'm going to look for the word jump. Ah, jump. Now I think, oh wait, that's just jump four. Oh, jump two over, okay. Ah, jump two over, 200, 200 is what they have. And then I think move 50 pixels forward. So I'm gonna grab that. Now code runs in order. So when I hit run, it's gonna droop and then droop. That explains it, let's see. Ooh, that went fast, onward. All right, now put this code into a repeat block and loop it six times. I wanna see what this does right away though. Oh, okay and loop it six times. All right, so I draw one line. Oh, here's a repeat block, but they need six. I'm gonna change that to six. Grab, drop, let's see what happens here. Oh, yep, and so what happens is anything in a repeat gets ran over and over. Anything in that pink mouth thing. All right, fantastic. Let's add some style by changing the brush using the set pattern block before our loop starts. Now this is important, and it's a bit confusing at first, but like, let me grab set pattern and they say before, so that means above it. Because if I put this inside of a loop right here, honestly, it runs, I can show you that it will run. But the problem with that is then we're asking the computer to run an extra line of code a whole bunch of times, right? There's no reason to run it each loop. And so when you get a big program, it becomes a problem because you're having extra lines of code keep going and going when they don't have to. We're just going to tell the computer right when we start, hey, that's the pattern we want and then repeat this six times. It looks like we get to choose, but I'm gonna go with their rainbow thing. So the stuff we're repeating is only the stuff that actually happens for the ones. Jump, move, turn, all of that. But we're just gonna pick one pattern. No reason to repeat it. But uh onward. All right, free play. Let's build something other one step at a time. Get the artist to the center of the play area, jump to middle, okay. Then use draw to make something appear. Cool, all right. So I'm gonna use jump, jump to center position. And then draw a sticker. Well, I can pick a more interesting sticker than that. Uh, oh, heck yes, that one. Oh, okay. But uh, onward. Now use a loop to make more copies of your sticker. Try trying that a number of times in the turn and repeat blocks to make different patterns. Oh, so jump to center. Okay, now. Okay, so I'm gonna grab out this loop. Okay, jump to center and boom. Right now, I'm just going to draw four things on top of each other, so it will look like one. We got a turn. Okay, so I'll, I'll throw this down here. Turn left 90. And I've left this at four. Let me reset, because it says try changing it. Let, what if I do six? Now, i got to remember, I'm going to need to change the angle. Otherwise, they'll just be drawn on top of each other. So, I don't know, 60? <laughs> or eight and 45? This is kind of fun. I think I'm going to have mine like this. Awesome. Onward. So fun, yeah. And now add a second sticker right on top of the first one to make an image like below. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, they switched images. Oh, I love this. Okay, so now add a second sticker right on top of the first one. Okay, well then I'm just going to say, draw a sticker, draw a sticker. However, let's see what this does. So it's gonna print them all on top of each other and we're not gonna be able to see them that well. I might want, well, I guess they just printed on top of each other. Okay, well, I don't want the bird though. Ooh, an alien and a rocket? Oh wait, what's that, a llama? Nah, rocket. All right, let's go. Put off, onward. Edit your code so that you jump forward between drawing the two stickers in your puzzle. Make sure you have jump to middle position inside of your loop so you stay in the center okay so I, they want me to move forward oh okay jump forward so let me look for jump and forward in between it says and then what's it say oh and then we do have turned we have a jump to middle so what should happen eight times over i hit run and it's gonna go okay i gotta do this eight times make sure i'm in the middle plop draw this sticker so that's my alien plop jump forward 100 Doop. draw this turn left Go back to the middle. So I'm going to slow this down so we can watch it go. And then this repeats everything this pink mouth thing is in a loop. So it repeats eight times. Oh, actually, though, I might want mine. 
Hmm. You know what? I can already tell. I'm going to want the rocket to be behind the alien. And then I'm going to have my jump be 75. Pretty awesome. All right. What happens when you replace one or both of your stickers with a different creature? Oh, okay. I can try it. I guess I'll replace both. I'm going to have a dinosaur and a robot riding it, maybe. We'll see. Oh, that's kind of fun, too. <laughs> Onward. This is awesome. All right. What happens when you move forward, when you move back by 100, 200, or 100 pixels somewhere in the loop? Try using set pattern block before you start the loop. So this is critical, guys. You want to use set pattern before you start the loop, once again, because if you do so inside the loop, that's extra code for a computer to run. It, you're only going to set a pattern once, right? And so unless you're changing it every loop, it makes no sense to have it in your actual loop. So you're only going to set the pattern up here. If I were to put my set pattern block right in here, the computer's going to run it eight times every time it goes through my loop. And there's just no reason because it already has the pattern picked out. That's not something that's going to be changing. Okay, so I'm going to do that. What happens when you move forward, then jump back by 100 or 200 somewhere inside the loop? Okay, move forward and then jump back. Um, all right. I'll move forward. No, I'll move forward 100, sure. And then jump back. Oh, nope, move back. Let's see. Oh, it makes diamonds, but I can't see them. So I might want to do something like 200 maybe? <laughs> oh, I got to pick a better pattern. This is awesome. Sure. Huh. This is so cool. <laughs> Love it. Onward. Add a third sticker anywhere in the loop that you want. What does it look like now? Change the pattern. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's just crazy. Okay. Um, a third sticker. So what if I did it for, what if I add one after I move all the way forward? So way up at the top. Might not even see it all. I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's off the screen there. Okay, well then what if I do... Maybe 150, 150. Oh, you can at least see it a little. Ha! Huh. Oh, but now it covers up my colors. I don't think I want it to cover up my line there. So what if I do, after I draw that sticker, and I turn left, I'll draw one more thing before I jump to the middle. Oh, see how it's a little bit off? Because code has to run in order. So now I turn left, draw that, and it's a little off, and then I jump to the middle. Oh, I love that. Onward. Okay. Try changing your repeat loop to run different number of times. How do you have to turn to go in a full circle? Interesting. So keep in mind with this, how many times we turn, right? So if I do eight, a circle is what? 360 degrees. So if I were, say, to do four... Well, if I want to go all the way around, well, 360 or 36 divided by 4 would be 8 or would be 9. Yikes, because 9 times 4 is 36. So I would want to go 90 degrees to go in a full circular pattern if I do 4 times. So, and maybe I want to do more than that, right? They say 6 and 60 degrees or 20 degrees and turn 18 times because what they're doing is making sure you go in 360 degrees. Oh, I actually like that one, though. Okay, but I'll try what they're saying. Oh, 20 degrees, 18 turns. I think I'm going to make my line farther, though. This is fun. Oh, yeah, that's the win for me. Onward. Ooh, okay. Now make something of, on your own. What happens when you make separate circles of two different stickers? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go crazy here, and then I'll talk about it once I have my code down. <gasps> oh, I like that. I'm going to switch the order of mine and talk about it. So what I did is I said, okay, pick this pattern right here. And then, oh, actually, I should probably have it. Okay, so what I did is I said 36 times I'm going to draw this peacock. And I set it to 10 degrees because 336 times 10 is 360. Each time I pick a random color, which you can kind of see, jump back to the middle then, just in case I'm not there after the end of this loop. I move forward 200 and backwards 200 to draw my line. Then I draw my sticker, boom, my peacock. I turn left 10 degrees, hit the bottom, zoop, back to the top, randomize the color again, and then go ahead and jump back to that middle. 
Now, it might make more sense or be more readable to put jump here to make sure you guys know it's first. Pick a different color. And the reason I have picked color in this is because it's random. It changes every time. Once it does this 36 times all the way around, it's done with all the code in this pink mouth thing, this loop. Drops below, I set the pattern, to the flowers. And notice again, this isn't in the loop because I only set a pattern once. I'm not randomizing the color. So I pick it once and then I use another loop. Jump to the middle, forward 50, lion time. Turn left and do that eight times, which I don't need to do. Whoa, no, and do that eight times. But uh I hope yours is really cool too. Onward.